Hey guys, it's me, Lil Ninja, back with another video, and today we're going with what if Asta was in MHA. But before that, I had to talk about, like, now that I'm back. You see, I went, uh, I went like AFK. I went away from YouTube for a, a long, a, a long while. Like, not that, not that much, you know, like, not like one of my, like, summer vacays from YouTube. More so, it was like half of one of my summer vacays from YouTube. But it's, it was still pretty long. I just wanted to relax. Um, I'm going to be trying to make more videos, uh, like at least three videos on Friday so that I can post them the next week. And that's when this video is made. It was made on Friday. And then it's going to be posted the next week. Uh, but first, let's get our shout outs. We got, I, do, I, I don't want to try to pronounce your name, but you are my 400 subscriber. And you are the reason that I came back to YouTube. So thank you for bringing me back. And like, y you're my 400 subscriber. So, uh... This was the what if that you wanted, but I'm going to be doing a redo instead of a part two because I think that video that you wanted me to do is like is like very very old, and uh, we're gonna just essentially make this that video better. So, what we are going to do is we're going to honor your what you wanted but it's gonna be a little bit different. So without further ado, let's get into this amazingly crafted what if, and I hope you like the new intro cause it took me a while to make it and without further ado, let's get it. This shit high, boy. Shawty catch a vibe, yeah, I had to put her on. Bought a two skitter, yeah, we headin' for the sun. Shawty got my high, I ain't trippin' for the fun. Yeah, I won't start, I ain't trippin', I'm a stun. Oh, oh, living lively. Everybody tryna ride my wave, they can ride me. Pull up in a foreign to the curb, lookin' icy. I ain't never stressed about the fit, I'm on hype. Yeah. Since this is a redo, we have to start off. Like, how is Asta going to get in the MHM universe? Was he born there? Was he reincarnated? Reincarnated? Or was he? Or did he get tra got tra traveled into the MH universe of his own will or not of his own will? Personally, here's what I think what is, what would happen. I think since Asta, uh, well, since. Uh, Asta's universe has a lot of magic in it, in it. There would possibly be like a magic overflow that would have caused a dimensional portal to open up. And at that moment in time, this this the moment in time is when Asta first got his uh, five leaf clover. After unlocking the five leaf clover, Asta was basically got taken out of his universe because of magical buildup inside of his universe and he got taken into the MHA universe. I'm taking him from this point because I don't want him to be too powerful to the point where like he can't like die or too weak to the point where like he'll die from just a random thug or random villain. I want him to still be able to protect himself but still like not be overpowered because this is like a regular like what if someone was in a different universe scenario so this is where i'm taking him this is the point in time that i'm taking him from and uh the point in time that i'm putting him in would be when is zuku when it's time like two years before it's time to go to the uh ua Asta, not knowing what in the world has just happened, will decide to start looking around as he's supposed to become the Wizard King. He doesn't want, he, he doesn't, he doesn't know what's going on at all. So he's just walking around trying to figure out what is going on and how to get back to his village. But of course, there's no way back for Asta and in a few re years he realizes that. So he decides that he's going to live in this world of heroes and villains. 
After those few years, he got himself enrolled as a student in the same school that Izuku is, and the, him and Izuku became great friends, and Asta would protect Izuku from Bakugo. Since technically in this world, Asta has a power, which they consider a quirk. But of course, uh, Bakugo really doesn't like Asta. For that, uh, Bakugo and Asta really get into a lot of fights, and one time both of them almost got suspended from the school. Asta not really wanting to leave Izuku alone would try not to get any into any more fights with Izuku. With this, Iz Asta would be that hope that Izuku never had from anyone else, not from his mom, not from any hero, not from any doctor. Asta would be that one hope, that one friend that uh, Izuku always had. Basically, it was that was one of the reasons why Asta and Izuku were, were very good friends. Asta would also have a part-time job, job that he would use to basically live in a single-room apartment because, of course, he doesn't really have any family inside of this universe and he can't really go anywhere else because he doesn't. Ha there's no records of him. He basically popped out of nowhere that specific year. Asta would also train his powers and basically uh, his... Uh, notebook would have adapted to uh, this universe. Not just using anti-magic, Asta can also use anti-cork matter, basically something that allows him to cancel out corks. But uh, unlike a racer head, it doesn't depend on his eyes, which I don't understand why they were uh, allowed his power to be related to his eyes. It would have been a lot cooler if it like was like cut on command instead of just on his eyes. I mean, I guess it is on command. Now I'm rambling. So as I was saying, Asta trains with his uh, five leaf clover and has met the demon inside of the five leaf clover and knows how to use the anti magic to its fullest. With him able to able to use anti fire or black flames or whatever you want to call it. This is something that I gave him. I don't, I don't remember if Asta had originally had black flames like that he could fully control without the sword, but uh, that's what he can do now. <laughs> A new ability that I have given him. Asta is basically training to become the best hero, and also uh, keeps tells Izuku to keep training, and basically. Uh, doesn't allow Izuku to, Izuku to give up on his dreams. Unlike what Asta did after he got sucked into this universe. Of course, with this, Asta basically would keep training until it was time for the UA exam. Almost time for the UA exams. Izuku, basically the stuff that happens with Izuku happens with Izuku, but Asta is there to witness it and he's also there to see Izuku receive the power of one for all, which he receives a lot earlier because Asta has been training Izuku for all those years. And because of that, Izuku's body is a lot, uh, is a lot better to hold the power of one for all. Because of this, Izuku, instead of just training on the beach that him and Asta has already cleaned, they decide to train with the quirks. Izuku, Izuku having to analyze his own quirk and basically uh, uh, figuring out very, very fast how to fully use it. He can he can already use full cowling, just not at just only at 100%. Well, actually, no. Let me stop. He can use full cowling, just not at 100% or 5%. He can only use 1% of one for all and uh well safely without exploding his limbs but other than that if he wants to go full power he stores up uh, the power inside of one limb or one uh, point of his hand instead of focusing it on in his whole body <clears throat> well while they're trading 
Izuk, uh, Bakugo sees that they're training and becoming a lot stronger and notices Izuku has much more confidence than he did before. Wanting to stop that, one day Bakugo picks a fight with Izuku that Asta, does, uh, that Asta is not there for. And instead of Izuku cowering in fear, Izuku would throw Bakugo to the floor and tells him to stop messing with him. He's not a little kid anymore and you can't keep bullying everyone. This would basically just get on Bakugo's nerves. Basically, that basically was not like not what he wanted to hear at all. So, Hizuku would walk off and Bakugo would basically think for a long while about what is going on and why is Hizuku not the little Deku that he used to be. With that, Izuku and Asta are ready for the U8 entrance exams. Of course, Asta barely passes the written portion of the exams, but Izuku aces the written portion of the exams and just full on passes through them. Of course, with Asta giving Izuku a lot more confidence, he doesn't back down when Ida states that he's uh, rambling and it's distracting everyone. He states that it helps him think and everyone can just leave if they don't like it. So yeah, Izuku is a lot more confident because of Asta in this one. Asta also decides that he is going to be be doing a lot more so that he can get a lot stronger because he has a goal is to become the number one hero after be, uh, being the wizard king was uh, uh, basically gone he decided he was gonna be the number one hero and with that he is ready to take the practical portion of the UA entrance exams as Izuku and Asta are at testing uh, well, yeah, testing site B. That's what we're gonna call it because I don't remember what testing site they were at or where they were at. But for this one, they're gonna be in the same team even though they're in the same school. Just proving that they didn't want people from the same schools to uh, team up. But for this, Asta uh, was basically going to look out for everyone. Asta summoning his book and going straight out as soon as the door open would start slashing robots one by one and taking them down instantly using his black flames to basically rack up points as the black flames basically disintegrated every robot that ever come near him. With that, Izuku would follow suit using one for all to its fullest in 1% full cower how breaking robots down like it's nothing, racking up points as much as he can with the little 1% that he can use. Of course, this would go on for a while, and Izuku and Asta have many points. I'm not gonna say anywhere near the hundreds, but it's it's still a lot of points. Right now, at this point in time, Asta has about 80 hero points and wait no 80 villain points and 45 uh hero points while izuku has 50 hero points and uh 50 villain points of course the hero points are for rescuing people and the villain points are for breaking robots with this izuku is helped a lot of people and so did asta with that, Izuku and Asta basically pass the test, but then there is a zero pointer. Asta and Izuku were about to run away, but then they see a girl that is under some rubble and is basically about to get crushed by the zero pointer. Izuku, not even thinking, not even flinching, would run at the zero pointer, jumping up with full 100% of one for all in his legs and charging up full 100% one for all in his arm destroying the robot with one punch while Asta would summon both of his swords slash the rubble uh, take Uraka out of the rubble and would fly away with uh, black flame wings with this Izuku and 
Asta would have saved Oraka and Izuku would be falling as Oraka, like in canon, would have slapped him to basically set him afloat. Whew. That was a lot. With Izuku and Asta passing, they would be in class 1A, just like in canon, but for Asta, not like in canon at all. At this point, I think he would already be a wizard at the with the Black Bulls. <laughs> Izuku, mm. Izuku and Asta would arrive together at class 1A, ready to basically uh, start the first day of the school year and basically sit in their, their seats. Asa just being bored and not noticing the small, the human sized bag, yellow bag that was just on the floor. Of course, this bag would start to move, and it's our favorite character in the whole MHA series. Well, at least my favorite character, Aizawa, the greatest teacher ever. <laughs> I say that <laughs> because sometimes Aizawa's methods are just weird. <laughs> But to be honest, yeah, Azawa is pretty great, and he comes out stating that it took them way too long to get quiet, and basically, uh, basically would get up and handing out uh, clothes to basically go do the testing site, while Oraka would stand up stating that they need to do orientation. And uh, as I would state that they don't need to do no orientation. That stuff is just for losers. I mean, he didn't say exactly like that, but like, <laughs> I mean, that's how it felt when you first watched the episode. Aizawa would then leave and everyone would go into uh, into the changing rooms and change into their UA uniforms as Mineta, you know, is being Mineta and looking into a hole not gonna say what kind of hole but it's looking into a hole and I Asta would notice this and would punch him straight dead in his face stating that it's not funny or uh, basically just punching Mineta to the floor stating not to do that Asta would be the first one out ready to basically take this test and Asta having the most points overall would be the one to basically uh, throw the ball Basta stating that he uh, can he use his power, and as I would state, yes. Asa would throw up the ball, summoning both of his swords, while Aizawa would try to stop his cork, but obviously it not working because Asta does not have a cork. Asta would slash the ball, and basically the ball would stop there, and basically just floating while Asta is still just slashing it in the air and finally he would do use a final attack, a flame ball that would push the ball all the way up into space. Basically securing his spot in uh, uh, first place for the first uh, test. And of course it would go basically to canon except for the placement of the people and basically Izuku was third uh, uh, Asta obviously was first, as he used creative. He creatively used uh, his uh, power in many ways to help him conquer each test. Bakugo uh, was second, and you basically don't need it. Actually, Bakugo. Wait, no. Todoroki was second. Bakugo was third. Izuku was fourth. That's how it goes. Now because of this, Bakugo thinking that no one should have gotten first, not even not even second. I mean, no one should have gotten first and he didn't even get second. And it's just basically making him very mad. It's like he does not know what to do at all. And it's just messing with his head, not really knowing that like something is off and he doesn't really know what to do at all so Bakugo just decides to attack Asta out of nowhere Asta putting pulling his sword out and blocking it in an instant canceling out Bakugo's cork and absorbing magic from Bakugo's explosions 
is uh, also would state that it doesn't matter what you think you don't need to be first every single time plus I don't I don't even think you could be first every single time let alone once Bakugo would take offense to that and would start swinging explosion after explosion until uh, Asta would uh, state that his explosions are getting weaker. Bakugo would start to look at his hands, stating that Asta would explain one of his many abilities that he has. The ability to sap away uh, uh, cork energy. Bakugo using those explosions on Asta's sword was just a uh, was just basically fueling up Asta's sword and taking away some of Bakugo's power at the same time. And that is where I will leave it off for now. I hope you liked the video and I hope that hmm, I hope that you will subscribe if you are not already subscribed and my 400 subscriber if you are watching this video thank you for bringing me back to youtube and you can expect to see a second one of uh, the second part of this video coming out tomorrow that is a guarantee <laughs> who am i kidding i can't guarantee anything i might just forget about it so without further ado little ninja out Ayo Parish, this shit high, boy. Try to catch a vibe, yeah, I had to put her on. Bought a two skitter, yeah, we heading for the sun. Shotty got my high, I ain't tripping for the fun. Yeah, I won't start, I ain't tripping, I'm a stun. Oh, oh, living lively. Everybody trying to ride my wave, they can ride me. Pull up in a foreign to the curb, looking icy.